I am meeting up with Reed. We are up in North Carolina, up in the mountains. I crossed over one hill that said 5,300 feet, and then we came back down a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit of exploring, trout fishing, maybe some bass fishing tomorrow, just camping here overnight. Beautiful weather, perfect time to get out here. Um, this is really not too far from my house, but it's like, it's a two hour drive. It feels like a six hour drive going through all the curves. We're camping right here. We're gonna go fish the creek right behind where we're camping. We got a rod, let's go. All right, I got a little Magooster spinner tied on. This is a good size body of water. I uh, got my, let's see here, which rod is this? This is a six foot ultralight and I'm using four pound mono. Shouldn't matter if, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I got hit three times. Did you see that? Dude, these guys are aggressive. I have a single hook on there. I hit that side over there and I got... Let's try that again. I'm sure he's over there. there he, boom! Got him! Got him! Nice! Get over here. Get over here. Oh, dude. Is that a... Dude, what is that? Is that a brook trout? Oh, man. He's gonna pull me downstream. Dude, nice fish. No, get over here, get over here. Oh, man. That's definitely my peep. Oh, my goodness. That thing is huge. Let's get in this water. Whew. Oh, my. Look at that. Holy cow. <laughs> how thick that thing is. Well, there's my first one. Got a big old mouth. Holy cow, these things are built. Do they have teeth? Yo, yeah, they got teeth all right. Oh, definitely. Man, they got some big teeth. Oh, no, bro. Let's go. <laughs> oh, uh, my phone probably ain't gonna record it right now because we got wet. But all right, yeah, that was like my fifth cast. Insane. We're camping right there. I don't know why I don't do this more often. I got here. Uh, Reed had been here for a couple hours. He's like, dude, I caught some good fish, and uh, I didn't realize it's gonna be that quick and that easy. That thing, dude, that was a monster. That was a monster. <laughs> Do another one. Yeah, let's do it again. But the, th the thing about it is, there's so many places in North Carolina that have trout like this. But maybe not like this, but like that you can go catch trout. And I just don't do it. It's all about just committing to it. Oh, oh you got him. You got him. Nice. Dude, this thing is so pretty. You on? Oh, I got one. Doubled up. Doubled up. Doubled up. I was looking over at Reeves and I got one too. What do you got, a little brogy? Yep, you too. Yep. Oh, oh nice, wins. nice. Oh, oh, I got, there's so many in here. I know. So many, a lot of smaller ones, but there's a lot of fish in there. I'm trying to get my line a little deeper. There he is. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh! Ah! <laughs> it's fun watching these fish. They're, they're so fast in the water. They can cut, come up and hit a lure in a millisecond. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Yeah, there's a bunch about that size. Come here. Dude, I did not know I was be catching a uh, brook trout today. It's not the, not something that I was expecting at all. All right. Well, he bleeding a little bit. I think he might be all right though. It's just where the hook was in him. I'd say these are the northern northern strain. They get a lot bigger than the southern true Appalachian brook trout. Even though we're in Appalachians, oh. we're in Appalachians, but um, these are these are a lot bigger than what would be native. I'm pretty sure. Oh, come on, come back for it. He's coming back, he's coming back. There he is, he's on it. Missed him, came back, got it. Hold on, hold on. Man, these are some live, lively fish. This little Magooster spinner is doing some good work too. Oh, look at this depot right here. Man, look at that, it's just beautiful. Big old deep drop off. Go tell how many fish are down in there. That's, that's what amazes me, these trout are in these little areas. You can't, you don't, you're super clear water and you still don't see them. Oh, there he is. Oh, I missed him again. Oh, I see him. Come get it, come get it, come get it. Nope, didn't want it. But I see a couple of fish and the water, it's super clear down there. So. Surprising how many fish are in some of these areas. All right, got a little vibrant rooster tail. And let's throw it back over there again. Ooh. Close. May not have got up far enough where they're at. Oh, 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 ah, I got him. There's like four followers. Well, we moved over to another spot, just a couple, really just a mile away, I'd say, from where we were. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come here. Come here. Nice. This is a I feel like a normal size brook trout. Man, pretty. Oh. <laughs> he chased that thing down right there. There we go. Another just beautiful fish. 
Sitting right there for us. Oh, dude. I had a good hit. Reed just got one. I just got hammered right there. There he is. Oh, oh wow. Got a jumper. Oh wow. This dude's jumping all over the place. Good fish. <laughs> oh, is this a rainbow? Yeah. Here it is. Oh wow, look at, look at that. That pool right there looks like it's going to be... I know. I'm going to make like a few more casts here. Yeah. Uh, if you want to cast here, it's fine. Dude. And then we'll move up to that hole. Dude, they're loaded in here. Next no, cast. Yeah, this is where it all started. I, I started... You got another one? Yeah, next cast. I just picked the rod back up. Whoa, look at the car coming. It is so clear, I can see on my camera underwater. I'm looking at the bottom like it's nothing. It's gonna be a really cool shot. Hopefully that fish is down there. That's gonna look amazing. All right, we're back at the campsite and uh, Reed had caught a trout before I got here and he saved it. I got my tent set up, got my Mountain Dew out. He's about to cut this thing up. So I am eating fish. A lot of people have been asking me to do some catch and cooks. Well, I'm gonna watch him do it, but I will eat it. Look at that pink meat. <laughs> Are we pray? Yeah. <laughs> Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the fun we got to have and enjoy the nature that you uh, provided for us, plus this food. Ooh, look how thick that thing is. Oh, watch hot. Oh. It's like I'm a, I feel like I'm at a store eating. <laughs> Here's your food. That's pretty good. Dude, I can't, 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 can't taste it too hot. Yeah. Look cool. I couldn't have scripted it better than this. This is what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's going to end this video out. What a day of fun fishing, just so much. I got a PB uh, brook trout, explored two new, this river and then that blow the dam on that river, two new bodies of water. Going to camp here tonight and uh, relax and get up and go fishing a lake tomorrow. And I'm not sure how that's going to go. Uh, another lake I've never fished before, don't know anything about. But yeah, I'm glad this really worked out. And um, just to sit here listening to the fire crackle and the water down here the white water flowing below us 